On the crystalreportsbook.com forum today, someone posted a question asking how to use the like keyword with wildcards within their record selection formula. I decided to make this video to give an illustration of how each wildcard affects the output of your report. I created a report that simply shows the customer ID and the customer name. We use the customer name field for testing the different filters that use wildcards. The first thing to do is click on the select expert button on the toolbar. I'm going to choose the field I want to filter on. I'm using customer name and then the select expert window pops up. I'll select the is like keyword because that is where you use wildcards. Here you see in the left hand corner that it says question mark equals one character asterisk equals many characters. What this tells you is that when you type in a string to filter on anywhere the question mark appears it can match any single character to that question mark for matching the rest of the text in the field. If you put an asterisk, then the asterisk tells it that it can match any number of characters in that position. Let's do a simple example using the asterisk first. Let's find all the companies that start with the letter B. So for my filter up a B asterisk, this says that the first letter has to be a B, and with the asterisk coming after it, that means that any set of characters could come after the letter B. And I'll say OK. Use the save data. Now you see that the customer name is now filtered so that all the names start with the letter B. Let's modify that and let's move the asterisk to the beginning. And this time let's do asterisk S. And this will filter on any customer name that ends with the letter S. Now we see the filter has been changed, the records have been updated, and now all these filters, all these names end with the letter S because of that filter. Now let's clear this again and start with a new filter. I'm going to delete this, say OK, refresh all the data. Let's look at how the question mark use works. I modified the data a little bit so that we have a field called, in the customer name field, we have two companies, one called Bikes and Tykes, the other called Bikes for Tykes. These are almost identical names except for the middle three letters. One is the word and and the other is the word for. Let's set a filter that finds anything that says bikes and tykes or bikes for tykes and we'll use the question mark field to filter out the middle word. So I'm going to click on the filter again. I'll select customer name. Select OK. I'll select like. And this time I'll type in the bikes and tykes. And what I'll do is go ahead and change these and to three question marks. One, two, three. So now the filter will find any word, any customer name, that has bikes as the first word, tykes as the last word, and any three letters in between there. And I'll say OK. Use the save data. And if I scroll up, I see that the results set shows me that there's two records now in the report. It's bikes and tykes and bikes for tykes. So this showed me that using the question mark, I can match up exactly any letter within that field. And since I use three question marks in a row, consequently that matched three letters. So in this video we saw that the using the asterisk as a filter selects any number of characters and you can put it anywhere you want within the field. And using the question mark only selects a single character as the wild card. And you can put multiple question marks within the field, but it can only do one at a time. So if you want to have multiple characters, you have to have multiple question marks for each character. If, if you'd like to learn more about Crystal Reports, please check out my website, chrisreportsbook.com. I have an online forum with over 25,000 posts. You can preview three of my Chris Reports books with sample chapters. I have a Chris Reports blog, as well as more videos about how to use Chris Reports. You should find it very helpful for your project.